we have a new G-Shock, let's check it out. So this is a model number GBD200UU9ER and mine is in basically a white or grey color. So inside the box you get a metal tin which is standard for G-Shock watches and it looks very very nice. And inside you also get uh, some warranty cards and also uh, the manuals basically here and also some other booklets basically. So inside this tin, so this is the watch itself. So let's take it out and it's packaged in a plastic wrapping like this. Let's take it out and this is what it looks like. So mine is in this white as they call it online, but it's not really white. It's uh, like a gray color actually. And finally, the design of the G-Shock is absolutely superb. As you see, it's very, very modern compared to the other old school G-Shocks. And yeah, this is a breath of fresh air basically. And on the G-Shock you get 200 meters of water resistance. And the build quality is absolutely superb. It's absolutely great. And it's built like a tank and extremely nice quality indeed. And by looking up close to it, you can clearly see that it's extremely well built and yeah, it's a very quality product. So, and also you get these uh, black transparent wrist guards here as well. So I guess to keep centered on your arm better. And this is what it looks like on my wrist and I have fairly small wrists. However, for me, I find it absolutely great. As you see, even for very small wrists, you can even get even more smaller wrists than mine. And there are plenty of adjustments if you have big wrists. Overall, the size, I really like it. And unlike some other G-Shock watches, it's not that thick and it's not bulky and the design is just perfect really. There are no unnecessary design features that just bulks up the watch, unlike on some other Casio watches. So yeah, very good design. And this is what the buckle looks like and it has this uh, metal wide knob basically here as well. Uh, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of these straps as they are kind of hard and plasticky. They are not rubbery like on other uh, Casio watches. I prefer the uh, cheap end Casio watches straps better than this one actually. But still, it's fairly okay, I guess. And this is what the buttons look like basically. And uh, they are not the easiest buttons to press. Uh, I mean, they are okay probably. They are, they are okay, they are just sometimes, uh, for example, some of the buttons are not that responsive and you have to uh, press them much harder sometimes. And overall the design is absolutely great. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this color and I'm returning it for a blue one because, yeah, it looks grey and not white as in some other online reviews. They say it's white but it's not white really. And on this watch we get a memory in pixel uh, watch, uh, which is a negative display watch, but it's easily the best negative display watch that there currently is, even from the Casio ranges. This really is the best. Even in the full sunlight the display looks absolutely great, and actually in the sunlight it looks even more sharp and great. And even in poor light conditions the display is very legible and very good still. Also, if we press this button, we can turn on the backlight, which also is very good and it's actually kind of bright. And yeah, excellent backlight actually. And the display is absolutely crisp and very sharp and very contrasty. So it's a very good view and all the details are presented excellent. Uh, the only thing that my, maybe some people will find not the best is the size of um, these icons and basically text in some of the watch faces. And it's just way too small if you don't have perfect vision. For me personally, I have great vision and I'm lucky with that and I can see everything very well. However, I reckon if you don't have the best vision, this watch will be very hard to see. For example, the step count, it's very, very tiny and these letters in this watch face are extremely tiny, basically. Okay, let's check out all the features of this watch. So, uh, all the features are controlled with these four buttons, basically, on the sides. So, if we press this upper button, we can uh, cycle through different watch faces here. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so, these are the different watch faces, basically, when we get and on my model, the buttons, sometimes this upper button is very hard to press and sometimes doesn't respond. Maybe my watch isn't the best, I don't know. So, but that's what I have. Also, if you press and hold this upper button for around three seconds, 
you get access to your settings here. So we can go through the settings using these buttons again. So you can see what you can get here. You can even find your phone with it. And yeah, these are basically the things that you get in the settings. Then to go back, we can use this uh, like a button button here. Okay, and we got our watch face. Then if we uh, use our mode button here, we can cycle through the different uh, options here. So the first one is the workout timer. Uh, and this is basically a replacement for a timer and you can uh, program uh, custom uh, workout sets here. So uh, you can up upload basically up to five different sets and basically uh, it's like a five different timers at the same time up to five different timers. So uh, for example if you decide in your workout that you want to like uh, do one exercise for 10 minutes then take a five minute rest in the second set timer and then in the third uh, take another 10 minute exercise and again a rest and finally some another five minute exercise of some kind so you can set it up so it will notify you when that time is up basically however personally i find this uh, feature quite useless i'm not really sure who would use this feature and the worst thing is this watch does not have a normal timer only this joke basically of a timer and it's very very hard to set it takes a long long time to set it basically and it's impossible to control it uh, reasonably well so this feature isn't the good and it's really missing a timer so it doesn't have a normal timer okay let's move to the next feature and we got a stopwatch here so this stopwatch yeah a normal stopwatch basically using this upper button we can pause the stopwatch and this one to reset it again to start it use the upper button Okay, and the stopwatch counts only seconds, it does not count milliseconds. This is due to the type of uh, the screen this uh, watch has, and the display basically on this watch is only uh, runs at 1 Hz, so it's physically impossible to put the milliseconds in. But I still find the timer quite good as it is. You can also pause it if you want it like that, and resume it, and also you can do like a uh, split. However, when you press it, so this time appears, uh, and when you pr press it again, as you see, the whole time that was running in the background appears. So uh, it doesn't uh, like list the split times here, so the lap times basically, and that's uh, like a negative thing if you actually use your stopwatch for that stuff. So it doesn't have that. Okay, the next feature is basically your activity log and how much of activity in uh, each different month you have basically done. So uh, that is basically a tracked activity, I will show you later a bit. So it tracks your distance, your pace, your total time, how many times you have exercised. So and if you want to basically start an activity, uh, go to your uh, watch face basically and press the start button. And here you can basically start an activity. You can customize these uh, like menus, I think. Okay, so you can cycle through different options here while you are exercising basically. Okay, to start it, simply press start and it will start tracking your exercise. By the way, this watch can record a GPS set and track GPS, but it does not have GPS inbuilt. So you have to keep your phone nearby and use it with your phone to track GPS activities. If you don't have your phone nearby, it will still record your descents based on your step count and stride lengths and stuff like that. For that, actually, I find it's fairly good, actually. There is one huge problem with this uh, activity stuff. However, it's uh, very, very slow to exit basically and save these details. So let's see how long it takes. Okay, let's save it, I guess. It will take absolute ages to do this. It will be very, very slow. So this really needs some work because it's very, very annoying and it takes absolutely forever. So let's see how long it actually takes. But yeah, yeah. okay, so we can see the overview here. And the worst thing is if we accidentally press the start button, even if we Maybe like just like accidentally really if you don't really know what you're doing with this watch So if you press it and you want to go back As you see it will take the same amount of time to go back and basically locked in this menu And that's really unacceptable really and the performance of this is a joke basically 
so it takes a long time to exit the stuff okay and next feature is the notifications so you can receive notifications on this watch such as uh, emails like you can even uh, get a call notification if someone is calling on your phone all kinds of chat messages whatsapps and stuff like that so all notifications will come inside here uh, but uh, however these notification systems are again very very terrible just really as terrible as everyone says on the internet they are so uh, first uh, the uh, you can't really customize which uh, like notifications you want actually come in so it uh, basically fetches all your phone notifications notifications which aren't even like notification just like some system notifications such as your battery on your phone is running low or like your out of your data or something like that those are not really a notifications that you should be receiving and there's really no way to like uh, like choose which notifications you want to receive or which ones you don't and uh, basically uh, in the emails also uh, you also get only like 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 yeah basically just a very very limited amount of text and you don't get the full email uh, for whatsapp notifications um, yeah they're again it's kind of kind of garbage really so all these notifications yeah don't purchase this watch for notifications because they are very uh, sluggish and it's, they're completely useless and it needs a complete overhaul basically okay and let's talk about the main feature of this watch why you probably purchased is that step counter and the step counter i have actually worn uh, this uh, watch and my old uh, samsung galaxy watch for past full three days and i have uh, tracked over 20,000 steps on the both watches at the same time to verify the accuracy of this G-Shock. So in uh, short, so if you are basically talking, taking uh, a purposely, uh, like going for a walk purposely, basically a long walk, this will track steps actually very, very good and comparable to other high-end watches such as the Samsung Galaxy watch and Apple stuff. So the discrepancy basically, it's it's very, very little. It, it will basically maybe undergone by around by just a few percent actually and yeah the step counter in that area is very good if you just take a long walk and easy walk which is easy to track for this watch however the daily activity uh, basically which involves uh, walking around your house around your yard doing some household chores that's not the most accurate on this watch and it severely overcounts basically so so let's say you are wearing your watch while riding your bicycle and on some other watches like my Samsung for example it won't record any uh, like junk steps while you're riding a bicycle and it will basically be fine however for example yesterday I uh, took my bike out for 20 minutes ride and in those 20 minutes basically it recorded uh, over 1000 steps in 20 minute bicycle ride even though I wasn't really taking any steps my Samsung for example recorded only like 20 steps so it was able to get rid of those and it understood that those are not steps but you are doing something else so this one yeah it will still record that or let's say you are doing any household chores you are basically moving your arms alone around a lot maybe you are standing still and I, for example a couple of days ago I was packing a lot of uh, packages and I was basically standing still at my desk and basically I was moving my arms all around and it tracked a lot of steps basically whereas my uh, like Apple watch or the Samsung it won't track that stuff really unless you actually walk you can still fool the Samsung and Apple and Garmin watches uh, by just moving around. You can still fool them, but the accuracy is much better in those areas, basically, on those other watches. But seriously, don't be dis discouraged, basically, by the stuff, because, uh, for example, if you're riding your bicycle, that still is a very good exercise, and it basically I use these step counters on uh, all the watches just as an activity meter i don't really care about the exact number i take i just like see how much steps it says for the day and it's a good representation of just how much overall activity i had so if this watch actually counts uh, some steps while you're riding a bicycle that's actually not a bad thing because it just uh, like accurately shows you your uh, current daily activities levels and don't really be put off by that 
and that's actually much better than some other watches such as Garmin's uh, which are actually when you do some other stuff while you are walking it completely cups, cuts out any of those valid steps and it's severely undercount basically so Garmin's uh, maybe they they have just as bad as accuracy as this one or even worse they really are worse because they don't really represent your total daily activity in the step count just as well as the G-Shock would so this is actually not a bad thing because again it will just um, bump up your step count to basically like show you that you've done more activities that day and if you want to see basically the full accuracy of all uh, watches I have pretty much tested all the uh, manufacturers and tons of different watches so the most accurate ones are Samsung and Huawei so they undercount by around two to three percent and that is in the mixed uh, walking test where you basically not only walk a straight lane purposely but you are moving around your house daily just walking from one room to another room doing some household chores the real activity uh, that you actually do and where you get most of your steps some other reviews online only test uh, very basic they like uh, walk 1000 steps and let's see how much steps they actually got they don't test re the real daily activity so in the real daily activity samsung and huawei is really at the top one percent sorry one first place basically then it follows by apple basically which undergoes by around around 10 percent and then in the third place is really this g-shock watch which and uh, sorry overcounts by around 15 to 70 percent and that's based on my around 20,000 steps I walked uh, with this watch basically. Then uh, comes something like a Fitbit, which severely overcounts as well. And it all, the Fitbits, depending on the model, they, they go like crazy, completely crazy, depending on each model is even a bit different. They overcount even much more than this G-Shock. Uh, then fifth place, Garmin, uh, as you see the number, for example is a bit better than this Fitbit but it all undercounts basically by a large margin and you can't really add track accurately your daily like total exercise output basically only looking at steps so essentially yeah Fitbit even if it has a worse error I would rate the Fitbit better than Garmin then the last place is some cheap watches like the Xiaomi and Amazfit watches those are completely terrible for this mixed walking test and real daily activity. So overall, uh, third place, basically in the middle out of all watches. And actually maybe it's just as good as Apple because the Apple uh, undercounts and this one overcounts by a bit more. But again, you will see your total daily activity better on this G-Shock than you would on the Apple. Because yeah, it just the Apple cuts out all the stuff which aren't really like steps and it actually cuts out uh, a lot of valid steps as well okay then finally let's talk about some of the negatives of this watch in more detail first uh, i'm not really sure if it's negative but just personal opinion but i don't really like this color at all i thought it would be like a more white and in reality i think in the video in pictures it looks better than it really is so if you have an offline store where you can check this model please go or first check it out because i don't really like this color and as you can see it's not white this is white and this is gray basically and yeah i don't really like the look of this color then uh, the negative things that one is not, not really negative just personal stuff so uh, yeah that timer it does not have a normal timer and this is complete garbage basically uh, these straps again uh, I'm not not a fan of this strap really it's very very hard and it's not pleasant uh, that pleasant when you actually wear it compared to other Casio watches then a lot of people online complain that this uh, G-Shock Move app isn't the best well I'm not really getting that because uh, I mean it's just very basic it's not that bad uh, maybe the only bad thing about this is the Bluetooth connection of this watch and this app so it takes a long time to actually connect and fetch notifications and stuff like that the app in the app it's basically almost like completely useless because there's not really anything you can see here basically it shows your uh, step counts basically um, so over different days you can track okay so not that 
but to basically show for like yesterday how many steps you did, your calories, your distance estimated, and like time like this. So I mean it's, it's not I mean it's not that terrible app there over like overblowing that it's terrible app. I think it's just too basic and there's not much to to see in this app. That's really it. Then another negative thing, which is on negative on other G-Shock watch as well, is this backlight. Uh, the backlight uh, is not bad, it's very good actually. The problem is though, uh, once you basically press the uh, backlight and press any button, it basically disappears automatically, the backlight. So, uh, when you are in the dark, you can't see anything obviously, and you basically turn on the flashlight, you only get one click before it goes to darkness and it doesn't stay on while you click so that certainly needs to be fixed then there's also no real way to actually check your uh, yesterday steps or your past day steps uh, data in numbers basically it only shows you those graphs how much of your goal you completed and yeah you really need to go to your uh, phone just to see your yesterday total step count and yes yeah, uh, when you start an exercise accidentally and you want to exit that's, uh, that's that's a complete joke, it basically locks you out and this really needs to be fixed, it's completely terrible really. You have to wait for so long if you want just to exit and you're not even starting the exercise. And yeah, the notifications are also like completely useless and it will only annoy, annoy you basically. And I have disabled the notifications because they're just that bad. And overall, uh, basically, if I, like G-Shock, sorry, Casio actually wanted to make a smartwatch, they really have to do better than this one because this yeah again uh, the smartwatch uh, functions such as that notifications are completely useless really and the total price that you pay for this watch for the features you get uh yeah doesn't really match up when you look at the smartwatch world as a basic watch yeah this is a good watch if you like g-shock watches but as a smartwatch yeah it's it's not a smartwatch really so overall can I suggest this watch? And I think, yeah, this is actually a pretty decent watch. Uh, just again, make sure you're happy with this color because it's not that good as in the uh, camera you would maybe see. If you just want a durable G-Shock watch that has a fairly good uh, step counter, then yeah, this is a perfect watch. The screen is absolutely brilliant in even direct sunlight. And yeah, it's a nice watch indeed. Also, the battery life on this thing is absolutely great. On none of the smartwatches you can get two years battery life. But that two years battery claims by Casio isn't really true. If you are actually using all the functions, you can expect to get like maybe around 10 months or 8 months of actual battery life. Still, the closest you can get is maybe a Garmin with three weeks battery life. So this takes it to the whole new level. So, if this was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more reviews about these watches, make sure to subscribe. See you!